Hello everybody, Liz here, uh, back with another unbagging of these, uh, Carm, uh, jewelry, uh, craft bags. Um, as we can see, I have two of them today. Um, I will not bore you with an hour's worth of unbagging. Uh, so we're just gonna open one at a time. I've not opened these yet. I did take the tape off and I did kind of... Um, open the bag a little bit so that way we didn't have to hear me struggling. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pop these open and see what we've got inside. Uh, like I said, I have not opened these so I have no clue what's in them. Um, we've got a tangled mess here. Some gold. Ah, there you go. That won't focus. Now it will. Um, beads feel kind of glass, but not like the best. And as we can see, they're not uh, the best made. Um, here we've got another necklace or two, I believe. Maybe one in there. Uh, let's see what else we've got in here. Uh, plastic. On uh, metal. Um, here we've got a large chain. Um, I don't believe that we're going to find anything of real value. Um, here we go. It's got a little marking on it. Um, here we've got some giant rondelles. These are plastic. And here's a bracelet. With a little boat charm on it. And we have pearls on the floor. Okay. Uh, so something in here is broken. And there are now pearls on the, on the floor. But here is a black necklace. Here is some glass and ceramic. And maybe shell. Um, all right, let's see here, there is what looks like some homemade earrings with uh, some beads on it, uh, they do feel like they are glass, they are tiger's eye. Alright, let's see what else we've got here. There's some more plastic. And um, I do believe these are plastic as well. The pearls. And let's see here. There's what looks like uh, some hematite. Um, and I do believe there's an earring attached to that. Uh, here we've got an earring. Uh, usually when I get these things, uh, you will find whole pairs. Um, here's a random bead cap that will not... There you go, focus. Um, here's some more of this jumbled uh, mess. And here are some uh, beads on chain these do feel metal uh and these are probably stone of some kind on um, here is a earring again looks like somebody made this uh, let's see here we've got some plastic on an ear hook Here we've got some more plastic. I want to say they're plastic pearls. Um, here is a caption, looks like, with two holes. And here we've got a wooden bangle. Uh, let's see what else we and we've got more pearls shooting out at me. Um, 
here we've got some of these giant, uh, like Rondo large hole beads on a chain. Uh, there's some gold chain down here that I can't seem to pick up. Right, here we go. And it looks like there's a pair of earrings here. And there's the match. And more pearls on the floor. Okay, here's a necklace. Um, looks multi-strand. And there's one attached to it. Uh, made with wood and uh, some seed beads. Uh, here's the match to that one we found earlier. And there are more pearls on the floor. Here we've got a seed beaded flower, maybe a ring. I do believe so. Sorry, let's put this on here. Alright, well, it's stretchy. There you go. And it's uh, UT Colors. If anybody is into uh, college sports, you'll, you'll know. Here we've got a necklace. Looks like it's metals. It feels like it's metals. There's some earrings stuck to it. And it looks like a bracelet, maybe. With a cross. All right, and then we've got a stretchy bracelet with a shell, looks like. Uh, the last couple of times I've bought in these boxes, I've gotten stretchy bracelets, and the stretch cord has been uh, not so great. Here's the uh, culprit of the uh, stuff that is going everywhere. And here's another necklace that has some giant beads on it. And yeah, so here's some more of those bead caps that are falling off of that. And there goes another pearl to the floor. My boyfriend's going to come in here and be like, why are there pearls all over the floor? Well, you know, here's a necklace it looks like with a couple of giant tassels. Um, here's a bracelet uh, with a cross on it and it's got some rondelles. Alright, let's see what else we've got in here. Here are some cats. These are actually kind of cute. Meow. Alright. Um, here's a bracelet with an M on it. Um, here we've got some wood beads with some uh, gold spacers. Alright, here's a necklace with some seed beads and some maybe porcelain. I'm not sure. It's not super heavy. Um, here's the match to that earring we saw earlier, and here's a necklace with a pendant. Looks like a giant S. Alright, here we've got some... another earring with some pearls and some metal leaves. These leaves are super, uh, super thin. I'm here. I've got what looks like a stretch bracelet. Well, and by stretch, I do mean this is memory wire. Um, all kinds of different random beads on it. Um, let's see what else we've got here. There's a match to an earring we saw earlier, I think. 
Yeah, there you go. And then here I've got some uh, dog tags that say Pearl Harbor. I'm assuming it's for a movie as it says Touchdown on it. Um, here is a little earring and this feels plastic. Um, here we've got oh, uh, some more earrings. They're uh, not wanting to cooperate with me at the moment. Uh, here we've got some more uh, pearls. I do believe those are plastic as well. Uh, here we've got one of those glass uh, pendants. Uh, I remember those things being really popular a couple of years ago. And uh, buying a bunch of them. Uh, here is a cross. And I do believe it's on an ear wire. So we may find another one of these. Um, holy moly. Okay, this thing is heavy. Uh, this one is shell as well. And it is, it, it, it's, it's chunky, it's heavy. Uh, let's see what else we've got in here. Here are some stuff I'm dropping all over the place. We've got a heart and a square shape. And let's see what else we've got in here. Here is a bracelet with some pearls and some clusters of beads this is actually a pretty kind of cool idea so i might need to uh steal that myself uh here we've got a little heart pendant um let's see what else we've got in here there's another heart all right and uh, here's a match to the earring we saw earlier. And here's a match to another earring we saw a minute ago. These ones are the, feel plastic. Um, Alright, we have a cow. And um, I'm not sure what the cow attached to at some point, but... um. There you go. Alright, let's see. We've got a stretch. Nope. No stretch. Uh, but there are like little bunnies on here. Um, here is the match to that cross uh, we saw a minute ago. Alright, let's see here. Alright, we've got another stretch bracelet. This one... Oh, it's a watch. Okay, and it's got these uh, safety pins that have uh, beads on them. I've seen this done before. I've never done it myself, but I've seen it done. Um, and then here we have another stretch bracelet with some rondelles and these uh, little spacer beads. Uh, we have a match to the cow, so the cow is a pair of cows. All right, let's see what else we've got in here. Here is a charm that has a train and it's shaped like the state of Tennessee. I'm wondering if this maybe came from the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm going to pull that out and keep that uh, separated. My boyfriend is obsessed with trains, so he'll probably enjoy that. I got a little apple. So if you need to get your veggies in, your fruits of veggies, there you go. And here's a big cross to go with those uh, smaller ones and an earring attached to it. Again, feels kind of plasticky. Let's put those together. Alright, here we've got some illusion cord with some beads attached. And there's an earring attached to those. Uh, we've got another little charm here. It's a little heart. And we have a third cow, so we got a herd. 
All right. And then let's see what else we got in here. Uh, there are some wood beads in here, and I'm not quite sure what that is, but um, here we go. Uh, there are a few other things attached in here to this, um, as we can see. Alright, here's a bracelet uh, with some small little pearls. Probably not real, but uh, there's some chain with an earring stuck to it. And here we have a oh, look. It's Eeyore. Oh, he's so cute. All right, we have a watch. Um, probably not gonna work. Um, and it looks like it has seen better days, but I mean, you know, here's a pendant that says love and loved. All right, here we've got a paracord uh, bracelet and here is a pendant. Uh, it feels super plasticky. It's missing a couple of the beads. And I am uh, dropping more on the floor. So there's that. Uh, here's what looks like a little purse charm, maybe. Uh... There's that. Uh, there are more beads on the floor. Uh, these feel plastic. And here we have a butterfly. And uh, there the floor has a butterfly. Uh, here's another heart. Looks like a connector. Uh, here we've got like a leaf kind of uh, brooch. And to add to our herd of cows, here we go. Got four of these things. And uh, here we've got a stretch bracelet with some big old, big old beads on it. Let's see what else we've got here. Uh, there are some wood beads in here about to come out. Here is a pin. Let's see. Here are some. A shell on a very thin, like, illusion cord. And here are some wood beads that have little hearts on them. Sorry, I'm trying to use my gut to get things to not uh, fall off. It would be a lot more helpful if I had a surface that uh, was not the dryer. <laughs> um, here are some wood beads and uh, just some cheap glass. Uh, here we've got some wood beads. Um... And chain. Uh, here is something this is for your hair. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, all right, not quite sure. It looks like a heart, kind of. Uh, not entirely sure. Here we've got some beads on a bracelet. And there's an earring stuck to it. Alright, here we have some glass on a bracelet. And here is some kind of pendant. Uh, here we've got some plastic. Alright, here I've got a giant wooden heart. Um, I'm assuming you could, like, make this into a belt 
buckle maybe question mark um here's another little heart pendant and all right this is something something about the oh look i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that first word okay <laughs> But it's the Something Hills Estate in Napa Valley. Um, let's see what else we've got in here. Um, here is the world's smallest uh, bangle. I'm not sure who this fits. Like a four-year-old maybe. But, um, not me. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we've got in here. Here's an elephant. I try to get them to sit up right. All right, here we've got a tangled old mess. Uh, here is a cross on like a little woven bracelet. Here is some random stuff attached to it. Looks like a necklace of some kind. And not sure what else. Here we've got another cross, giant wood. Right, let's see what else we've got in here. We've got some white, uh, like pearls. Uh, they're probably plastic, but they do feel kind of heavy. So at least there's that. Um, here is another bracelet. Looks like it was handmade. Uh, these beads right here look like they are familiar, but I think I have them in a different color, I want to say. And they came from a bargain bead box, question mark. Um, here we have a pendant. Looks like glass. Um, here's a match to... The earring I saw a minute ago. Uh, they don't look like they're in the best of shape. Um, here is some. Oh, here you go. If you uh, like golf, I found the uh, I found the thing for you. Uh, they look like they were homemade, perhaps. Um, here we have some. Are they belt? buckles not entirely sure they look like a uh, shell mother of pearl uh, and your guess is as good as mine here we've got another uh, heart pendant charm connector um, and there we have some wood beads on the floor all right, here we've got a Hawaiian male leaf. At least that's what it says it is. And we've got only a little bit more to go. Here are some stars that have the same backing as the cows had. Uh, still not sure what they attach to or uh, whatnot. Here are some large hole beads on a bracelet um, all right let's see what else is in this bag here's some more like mother of pearl uh, shell oh here we've got a stretchy bracelet with uh, some metal beads on it they look like they were supposed to be rose gold at some point, maybe. I don't know. They don't look super gold. Um. All right, here we've got some like cork or leather, something with a little glass charm at the end. Uh, here we've got a pin, a brooch. Um, it is bro. It's missing a thing. Um, just random stuff on it. 
Uh, I'm wondering if this is what went with it, because this just fell off when I picked it up. It's a little elephant. And let's see here. Here we have a bracelet. Um, I have some of these. I bought them. I don't remember where. Um, and I never quite used them. And then I tried to drop the phone. Okay, so that's great. Um, all right, here we've got a little cowboy boot. Well, a pair of cowboy boots. And let's see, we've got not a lot left. Uh, here's another one of those stars. And let's see here. Upside down, here we go. We've got a little horse head. Uh, not quite sure. Belt buckle, maybe? Um, here's a fish. And let's see here. Let's see if I grab out of here. At the... We have more pieces on the floor. Okay. Uh, so there's another fish. And whatever that top one was. Here's a pair of uh, cowboy boots and another fish. And let's see here. Okay, we've got some like pendant. Not sure what that is. Uh, this was a pendant of some kind and it is missing whatever was in there. Uh, I've got some more elephants, it looks like. Uh, there's another horse head and another horse head. And some more elephants. And then whatever these are, they look kind of southwestern, maybe. And there you go. So that's it for bag one. Um, now we will uh, put this all back in the bag. Probably not like they had it because that is going to be impossible. But we'll go ahead and put this all back in the bag and then we will move on to this one over here. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, bye.